take a look at the middle distance stars as we go back to the track and bring in the competitors for the men's 800 final. When you look at the records, here are the records for the men's 800. Jim Ryan's record still stands from 1966 for the collegiate best Mark Everett, the NCAA meet mark. You know, there's a bit of a breeze here. I'm waiting for this race as they're doing the introductions and they just introduced Elijah Greer, great high school runner has gone on to continually improve in Oregon. He was from the Pacific Northwestern State out there to go to Oregon, won the Pac-12 title. Next to him in lane three is Ryan Martin, the senior from UC Santa Barbara. And he and Charles Jock, and so if you look at Martin now, have blocked horns with some sensational collegiate races coming out of their conference. They've been battling each other for years. And they had some epic races last year, and at their conference meet did the same thing, running the third and fast, fourth fastest 800 meters by a, a collegiate here. Eric Sawinski, 154, 800 meter runner in high school, and he has just continually improved as Sawinski, now a senior, academic, all big, uh, big 12 athlete. And this is the young man who's got a great, great story. Dad fled Sudan with the Civil War, moved everybody to Ethiopia. Charles Jock was born there. Then he got everybody and came to the United States. And he has just started his career here in the United States and been sensational. He loves to go out and take the lead. Will that be a bit of a detriment with the wind in his face at four to five miles an hour that these sprinters have been running into in the home stretch? And is that going to play into Ryan Martin's hand, who will no doubt tuck in behind him? Let's see what happens in this race. Jack the runner up a year ago. Let's see the lanes focusing on three, five, and six. Jock likes a hard pace. I'll be surprised if it goes out as slow as 52.5 or something like that. He's off in around 51 seconds, 50 point. Martin taking his measure. Martin's in the pack. Jock will take the lead here, it looks like, Trey. Big West competitors, remember, Martin in lane three, Jock in lane six. They know each other well. Martin hanging back at this point. And that is Greer right up there in second place. He's a Pac-12 champ, the junior from Oregon. Sawinski in third. Martin choosing to run back. A surprise. 50.6 seconds. Jock makes it look easy. Charles Jock, the senior in front of Elijah Greer, the junior from Oregon. Very fast collegiate time through the first 400 meters of the eight. Remember Jack lost by just two hundredths of a second last year, finishing runner-up. It's Jack Green and Sawinski of Iowa third, the crowd favorite. Ryan Martin moving up, but Jack was able to fight off Elijah Greer. Looks like he's slowing down a bit, the rest of the pack challenging him. Jack continues to lead though. Still in front. Evans of Georgia challenging. It's Jack Evans of Georgia and Martin from UC Santa Barbara. Here they come. Jack from UC Irvine. Charles Jack. And he's going to hang on for the win. So Witzke gets second. Greer gets third. Ryan might have gotten fourth. One minute, 45.59 seconds. So Winsky up with a brilliant 149, 45.90. And Greer, 146.05, round out the top three. He's a tough competitor from Bermuda and Georgia. In second place, we're talking about Aaron Evans, the senior from Georgia, tries to make a run here, puts himself in position, but doesn't quite have the wheels left in the last 50 meters. Greer holding on well. Ryan Martin, too far to come. But look at Sawinski on the inside. 
champion will present the award. Congratulations to Charles Jock as he holds off Sawinski and then Greer. Jock so close last year, he gets it done this year, Jill. Well, Trey, I'm with Charles right now, and you are notoriously known for running from the front, but it's for a very special reason. Why? Well, I mean, it takes a lot of, a lot of, a lot of dedication, hard work, and just mental toughness. You know, I think I would get a lot of that from you know, what my parents have been through you know, in the past. I have to immigrate, and you know, just go through so many... So many obstacles, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so I'm lost for words right now. I'm so excited. I mean, this feels like redemption from last year. But, oh, man. Last year at the tape, you lost by four one hundredths of a second. How sweet is this redemption? Oh, no, it feels great, you know. The plan was to come out and just break everybody that first lap. And that's exactly what I did. I felt so strong coming in. I mean, I'm just, <laughs> like I said, I'm lost for words. I'm so excited. Charles, go enjoy this. Thank you very much. And Trey, he had a, a terrific field that he had to beat to do this. Two athletes in the semifinals ran 146.800 meters and did not get in the final. Updating the men's standings now.